All right, so I was upgrading the firmware of this console. I did this just the other day, and during the automatic reboot of the console, the faders started moving up and down rather quickly, and they're going their full distance to the top, back down to the full distance at the bottom. And I wasn't too sure what was going on, so I forced the reboot on the console, and then it came up, everything seemed like it was fine. Anyway, what I did is I opened up a ticket with Personics, I Personics, because I wasn't too sure what was going on. They said that the console was recalibrating the faders, which after what I saw it made complete sense. So uh, they provided me a uh, some information, a link actually that uh, gave instructions on how to recalibrate the uh, faders. So that's what we're going to do here is uh, just recalibrate the faders. And by the way, uh, Persona support has been fantastic. This is probably the only, maybe third time I've needed to contact them about something with the console. Uh, they've been very responsive and very informative. So you probably only should do this if uh, Personas tells you to do it. Because uh, in, in looking at this, looking at what could happen, you could really mess up your console. So I'm not recommending or even saying to do this at any point in time unless Personas tells you to do it. So let's go to Home, uh, Utilities, and uh, tap the Shift key so that it illuminates, and then uh, Test Modes. Touch the word Test Modes, and then we're going to go into uh, Fader Test. And it said don't adjust anything on here. Uh, we're going to do calibrate. He said it could take about uh, 45 seconds to do. Alright, so uh, this is about what it was doing when I upgraded the firmware. So we're just going to let it go and see how this uh, works out. Hmm, all right. Let's get out of this. I'm assuming that's all we need to do. Let's get out of this, and um, we're going to do a uh, power off on it. We'll turn it back on, and then uh, I'll test some of the uh, layers to see if the, uh, I guess, the speed and accuracy is back. All right, we'll come back to it here once, the, uh, once it's rebooted. All right, we're coming up. If this works on this one, then I'll have to do the same thing on our uh, other console. All right. <clears throat> All right, looks like we're there. I really didn't have um, too much here to go by. Looks like it's uh, doing a bit better. Yeah, before they were um, noticeably slower and there was an awful lot of uh, like fader drifting. Uh, before there'd be an awful like a lot of the faders would move around a little bit like they're they're drifting trying to find where they were supposed to be But uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, recalibration may have uh, corrected this All 
All right, here's our uh, 32S. We're going to do the same thing to this one. The home, we're going to utilities, uh, our shift. All right, fader test, and once again, I'm not gonna, I'm not touching anything else on here. I just want to do the calibration for what they say it needs to be. Seems a little bit different. All right. Now, some people do, uh, they'll just sometimes just power it off without doing the soft power. I've made it a habit of doing the soft power. Uh, one show I did with the Groovinators, I had forgotten that I was recording their session. And by doing the soft power, it closed the recording session, wrote everything to the SD card, and then I was able to shut it off. Uh, I'd forgotten that I was recording it, and later on they asked about it, and I thought, oh no, I just shut the machine off. So anyway, doing the soft power definitely helped out with um, making sure stuff does get closed, any, any recording sessions are written. All right, so I powered it back on. We'll check this one out. All right, looks like we're there. Good. Looks like they, they both behave the same now. Yeah, I was getting sort of concerned here at that last uh, upgrade. So anyway, all right, I think that's it. All right, thanks for watching.